Hello, this is Jason Clement, Technical Sales Manager at Isonus, and welcome to this instructional video of how to get your demo unit working with Pure Access. So you have the demo unit, now what do you need? You need a network connection and power, an IP address, and a Windows PC and a login to Pure Access. The Pure Access browser client will work on Mac, but to run the configuration utility, we do need a Windows PC. And finally, the time to actually do it. So on the network side, you will need a network switch port. So if you have an IT administrator, or if you are the IT administrator, you'll need a single switch port for the demo unit. If you have PoE already available, that will make it very easy. If you do not have PoE, the demo unit does come with a PoE injector that will inject the power that you need to power the RCO3 or RCO4 demo unit. Finally, you're gonna need an IP address. If you have DACP on your network, that's the easiest way to go. If your network uses static addressing, you can use that as well. So on a switch that already has PoE, we just have an ethernet connection between the switch and the reader controller. And if we have DACP, that's pretty much all we need to do. If we do not have PoE, we can utilize the PoE injector that comes with the reader controller. There's additional patch cables, and then that PoE injector will just plug into a wall outlet. Once you plug in your demo unit, it should go through a boot sequence and you should have a single red light within a few seconds. Now that your demo unit is connected to the network, let's go ahead and get it configured. The first thing we want to do is download the Isonus configuration utility from our website. It is www.isonus.com and it's under the quick link section in the upper right hand corner. I have already downloaded it and have it on my desktop. Now we'll click on discover units. If your unit does not show up here, check with your IT administrator that the device is on the same network your PC is on. I have multiple devices running here, but I know which one is my demo unit. To configure the device, first choose the proper host address from the drop-down. For a demo unit, it will most likely be isonuspureaccessdemo.com. This can be confirmed by checking the email with your login information. If you're using DACP, then simply left-click on your device, and click Configure Selected Units. After clicking on a Configure Selected Unit, the demo unit should reboot. If you need to assign a static IP address, then you'll click on Advanced Settings, go underneath Static IP, and simply type in the information given to you by your network administrator. For example, this is what I would assign on my network. Then you simply highlight the unit and click Configure Selected Units like we did before. I'm not going to configure this, I'm going to leave it at the default DHCP that it assigned. Now that the unit is configured, we can log into our Peer Access account with the information provided in the email. Most likely, it will be the address isonuspeeraccessdemo.com. And again, the username and password should be provided in the email that you were sent. Enter that information in and click Sign In. You'll be brought to an empty dashboard screen, which we will come back to soon. Click on the Access Control tab at the top, and then click on Access Points. To add in our demo unit, we're going to go ahead and click on the white plus sign in the green box here. On the side of the RCO3 or 04, there is a sticker that has a series of numbers and letters. This is the MAC address of the device, and we will need it to add the device into Peer Access. Type the MAC address into the first field, and then either tab to the next field or click into the next field. It should say Device Connected. Now we'll give the demo unit a name, such as demo unit. In the next field, click the drop down and put a check mark in the all doors group. I will explain why we did this when we quickly review weekly rules. Once that's complete, click next. On this screen, we're going to left click to put a check mark in Rex. The demo unit does not have a door sense or auxiliary input attached to it. 
We'll click Next. This is a fail secure lock that's on the demo unit, and it does have an EDK. Here we're going to say yes, we have manually reset the EDK to factory defaults, as that's how you'll receive the demo unit. Then it's going to attempt to unlock the door. Your demo unit should unlock for a few seconds and then lock back up. If it does not unlock, click repeat test once. If it still does not unlock after that, then you'll want to contact our technical support team at support at isonus.com. Here, my unit did unlock, so I'm going to go ahead and click yes. Here, I want to say no, I do not want to change the EDK code. On this screen, we're going to go ahead and test a few things. We're going to test our Rex input. When you're ready, click the ready button, and then simply push in the Rex button. When we're ready to test a badge, we'll click ready, and just simply swipe any of the badges on the front of the reader controller. Now that our testing is complete, we can click testing complete. Also at this time, our demo unit is in an unlocked state while we complete this configuration. For the demo unit, we can go ahead and leave the default settings here. Click settings complete. Now it'll ask if we want to leave the door in an unlocked state or we want to lock it up. Here we're going to go ahead and click lock. This will put the door back into its normal lock state. Now let's get a badge to unlock the door. Click on the rules tab. You should have a default 24 by 7 rule. In Pure Access, we take a group of users or badge holders, give them access to a group of access points or doors during a certain time frame. This basic rule has a 24 by 7 schedule, a group of all users, and a group of all doors. This is why we put the demo unit in the all door group. Now click on the users tab at the top. You should have one user in there by default, which is the person who is logged in. Go ahead and click on that name, which is also a hyperlink. This will bring up that person's information. If you want to, you can go ahead and add a picture in here by clicking on the silhouette. Click Choose Photos, point it to where your photos are at, click the photo that you want, choose Upload Photo, and then finally click Save. Now to assign this person a credential, go ahead and click the Add button by Credentials. Where it says Read from Access Point, choose this drop down and choose the demo unit. Take one of the credentials and swipe it along the front of the reader controller. After that, go ahead and click Read. Should populate some information into these two fields up here. Once that's done, we can click Add. Now we're going to go ahead and put Ned into a group, so we'll click on the Add button by Groups. Click on the drop down and add him to the All Users group. And finally, click Add. We can see that that default rule automatically popped up. So Ned Stark is part of the All Users group who has 24-7 access to any doors we put into the All Door group. Here we're going to go ahead and click Save to save this information. Now let's return to our dashboard by clicking on the Dashboard tab. Let's add a basic pane in this first pane here by clicking on the Add button. We'll leave it at Single Access Point, which is the default that's highlighted at the top. Demo Unit should be chosen, as that's the only access point we have in here. And we can leave the default history already there. And click Done. This will give us the history of the access point and allow us to run some commands. Before we read this card, we're going to go ahead and click Update Access Points in the upper right here. Anytime you make changes in Pure Access, you have to run this Update Access Points to push that information out. You don't have to do it after every single change, you can do it after you do a group of changes. So now we can read this card and it will give us access. And here we can see that Ned Stark's badge was approved. From this pane as well, we can click Admit which will admit entry through the door for the default time, which is three seconds. And we can also set the door to an unlock state until we tell it to go back to a lock state. Those are the basics of getting your demo unit configured. For more information on configuring Pure Access, please use our online learning portal or the training videos on our YouTube channel. If you wish to get certified on the Isonus product, Please use the online learning portal as watching the videos on the YouTube channel will not count towards your certification.
Thank you for taking the time to test our product, and we hope this video was beneficial to you. Thank you, and have a fantastic day.